Okay, so I am literally in the midst of editing this video that you're watching right now. Um, this is the introduction, but I thought I'd come up here to basically give a spiel of what's going on because I feel that these are just fragment fragmented videos um, that were captured whenever without a plan. Um, so I thought I'd give some overview as to what this video is about. So most of you, would not know that I recently moved to Chicago for good. Um, meaning I, I don't live in Singapore anymore, um, but I documented the bulk of my, uh, I think six, the past six months in Singapore. And so I hope you enjoy. Um, it's very fragmented. It's just me documenting the last few months that I would be spending in Singapore with friends. Um, it's a lot of hangouts doing a lot of random things like going for baking classes and whatnot i even picked up tennis in my last few months in singapore as you will see in the few snippets where i managed to film something but yeah i hope you enjoy uh, i know i've been gone from youtube for a very long time now uh, i wish i was more consistent about it but i'm hoping from here on out when i have more time that i will be more diligent with editing but yeah see you guys around I recently thought of trying out muesli um, as a lunch of sorts, so here we are. I think this was the New Zealand honey something muesli, and we've got like light Greek yogurt at the bottom. There's coffee in there, I shouldn't have shook. Basically, there's been a new French bistro, bistrot, a new French restaurant that just opened up pretty near my house, and my parents like it a lot, so they helped me pack to lunch. Um, we got some latte over here. And then, I asked for the trout, which I often mistake as salmon. Um, I'll let you guys see it in a bit. And then we got roasted prawns. Yummy. So this is the trout. Looks good. But seriously, how do you distinguish between this and salmon? Like, someone help me. Then we got the roasted prawns. Looks good as well. Parsley on top with olive oil or garlic oil, I don't know. I'm not eating at a proper table because I feel weird talking to the camera by myself um, when my family is outside. So here I am eating like a loser on my bed. But I was just working on my desk within my bedroom so it's pretty normal for me to be just like hold in here for the whole work day. Nothing new. How sad. This is I think Higher Brothers playing in the background to get me pumped to churn out PowerPoint decks. Mmm, so good. The trout has like a lemony tang to it and it's really smooth so I like it a lot. Mm. 
Hello there. So my friend surprised me with snacks. She dropped by, like she drove by and dropped off some snacks. Well, full context is that I gave her some cookies that I baked my, on my own during Chinese New Year back in February. And I also helped her buy some cheese. I think it was Gouda and Brie. Yeah, because I made like a bulk cheese haul and she lives nearby, so I helped her get some, so she, in return, she bought me some of her favorite snacks. So I'm going to do a food haul. First up is Uncle Saba's Papadoms. Lentil chips. Made in Malaysia, I think. Never heard of these, but excited to try it. Next we have Kellogg's Super Berry, Super Berry Granola. This is in good timing because I just, I have my Greek yogurt that you guys saw from the other time I was eating muesli, muesli. And this will be a good addition to my yogurt snack stash. We also have Sheila, Sheila G's brownie brittle salted caramel. It's made in West Palm Beach, Florida. And here we have a random ass woman on the back. You know what I was gonna say. Lastly, we have Ritz Toasted Chips. Never had these, well, maybe I have, but yeah. Um, this would be great with my cheese haul, so thank you. All these snacks are coming at a great time. I had a long day today. Um, it's been like this for most of this month in March, so this picked me up a surprise at that too is great so thank you friend i'm actually gonna try one of the snacks on camera right now the lentil chips or papadums if my lips are red it's because i just ate spicy mala dry hot pot these are made yeah in malaysia let me have a go Airtight. Fancy, not like your average Pringles where you have to reach deep into the tube to get one chip because it's full of air. Here goes. Yum. Yum yum. So good. Oh my god, you guys. I typically already love poppadoms. Like the ones that come in those um, paper packages that you have to like self-fry these are ready-made and they're so good they're not like as salty as the usual ones which is a good thing I always ask for extra at the Indian Muslim restaurants that I go to uh, you gotta try these things they're called papadums p-o-p-p-a-d-o-m-s so if you ever want to try it I highly recommend it these are so good I just remembered a story with this friend that gave me all the snacks. I used to work with her and there was once she, I didn't know it at the time, but she apparently like butt texted, like butt dialed, but butt texted. She sent me a voice message that didn't contain anything except like the sound of a crinkling bag. And it turns out, I guessed correctly, that she was snacking as usual in the office and she butt texted or butt recorded the voice message while crinkling in her bag of chips. And that's just typical her. Like every time we were working together side by side, I would see her snacking away while looking at her laptop. So it's great that I have a haul of snacks from the snack queen. Do I, do I, do I? Thank you. So you're in, you're, you're into it now. No, what are you vlogging? I stopped for so long. What happened? Like, you can eat. This is 
is the racket I got off the resale market. Um, the selling platform is called Carousel. I am waiting for my tennis coach to come. This is our second lesson so far. And my condo has like two courts. This is the one I prefer. I don't know, it just feels better. And the other one is like plagued by sand flies for some reason, which we were at um, the first time last week, so. during my last six months in Singapore, I used what is known as skills future credits, which I believe Singaporean citizens and residents get, which are credits that you can claim to take any sort of classes on that specific government portal. I chose things like cake baking, um, specific things like decorating cakes, making cake florals. I think I took a calligraphy class or lettering class. These things have been super fun. Uh, they're really great at like bringing out your inner artiste. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I was super inspired by my cousin who is a very good pastry chef. Um, even my brother is in that industry. Inspiration abounds around me. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. Happy birthday, dear Jessica! Happy birthday to you! 